hate and harshness is everywhere. And I've been getting, I mean, I've been posting YouTube videos since I was 10, 11. So I've been getting the hate comments forever. Um, the thing I can totally understand why facing these judges and getting feedback from them can be intimidating because they're the judges, but they're all just people, you know, we're all just humans and everyone has their own opinion. So if you're content with your performance and who you are, you shouldn't let anyone else affect that view on yourself. It's, it's, it's different, um, but what makes it a little bit more unique is that I'm with family and um, I'm with my niece and uh, this journey that we've been having together has just been so like inspiring for both of us and uh, as far as the show, the production has just yes. advanced and, you know, it's just sometimes I have to pinch myself like, am I here again? Like, is this like the same place? Um, but definitely everything has evolved and everything has gone to the next level. And, you know, what a honor and what a great, like, just feeling to be able to do this with my niece. As far as our, our heights are different, you right. know, say like everything is different about us, but our voices come together so well. And so, you know, the endless possibilities, but we've always wanted to see, what, you know, what Disney could offer, you know, one day and just go from there. So it has this device in the, on the inside, which uh, coordinates with uh, about 3000 LEDs that's on the umbrella to show uh, all these different images. We coordinate the lights to the dancing choreography and uh, we pre-program it so that it goes to the movements. Because here is, uh, the level is uh, higher and also I, I have been investigating more and in, in, in ventriloquism and in how, in how to combine with other things and, and, and that is, uh, I, I, I also have grown a, a bit after the Spain of Time. I was very happy because it, this act, I never done it in my life and, and, and I didn't know if it was going to work. I said, okay. I think it's gonna work, but I don't know because I've never done it. Uh, and so I was very happy. It was, um, it was so exciting for me to finally have an opportunity to perform, him, perform for Howie and I just met him and he was so nice. I was so excited. I tried to be cool. Do you think that I will? There's, yes, everybody thinks I was very chill about it. But um, no, it was amazing. He's the comedy guy here. So that was, that was so cool. Really inspired by um, other disabled comics I saw on AGT. Um, and so I'm hoping that somebody takes that away, whether it's comedy or anything that they want to pursue with. Um, I hope it's a little bit of visibility, especially for deaf and hard of hearing people, that this is something that you can do because we need more deaf and hard of hearing comedians. I think we've performed our whole lives. We were performers before we were TikTokers and on social media. So I don't think yeah. there was any concerns with like a live performance because it's, it's what we do. Yeah, yeah, I feel the same. We actually both teach. We actually both teach right now. Hey, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah, cool. we set choreography for like our students and stuff. I and mean, then yeah, obviously we do our own choreography. So yeah, definitely. We already have a video uh, planned. Yeah, oh, yeah. we're yeah. planning a video. We're, we're talking about doing one tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, of course. I take a video projector and um, in, on, on the top of my table, and I uh, take my card and I play with that. For the moment, I don't know. I will see. The biggest thing for me is hearing from people um, uh, and just that 
um, uh, I've um, uh, inspired them. Uh, that's just been so um, touching to me. The comments from um, uh, from the judges, they just meant so much to me. Uh, uh, just especially hearing from Howie and um, how uh, he talked about um, uh, his son, who also has a stutter. Uh, it just it just shows that um, we're not alone in this.